All right, folks, what's up? Today we're gonna create some cutters, some custom cutters. We start with the cube and we're gonna add a cylinder to cut a round hole into the cube. You just press N key for the drawer, then find the bull tool, bo boolean tool. It says bull tool. We rotate the cylinder and scale it through X axis. First, we're gonna select the object. We wanna turn into the cutter. Then uh, the object we wanna cut. It's the order, required order. Let's try again. As you see, click difference under the brush boolean. Now we move through the x axis. You see, we have the round hole in the cube. We can scale it as you see. After that, we click apply brush so we can delete the frame. Now we keep going with another cube. We had the cube. Now we're going to use some modifiers. We add another cylinder. We change the location. And you see, we scale it pretty much down. Then we scale it through Z axis. We apply array modifier as you see we change count then we adjust the distance between the cylinders yeah you can adjust the count as much as you, you like but we keep it six for this tutorial we adjust the distance between cylinders they actually they seem like sticks we apply simple deform modifier we're gonna bend to make them arrayed roundly as you see just briefly it doesn't matter uh, we don't need any calculation for now just I wanted to show the technique yeah, this seems nice. This seems nice. Yeah, a little more. Now we have the shape. Uh, we don't prefer to apply all by pressing Ctrl A because that makes this. We are going to apply modifiers one by one to get the permanent shape yes as you see now we have the shape let's turn to the cutter first we select the shape wanna turn the cutter then the object we wanna cut yeah as you see we click a we click difference under brush boolean after cutting if you like you can delete the frame. As you see, we can scale it. We can change the position. It seems nice. You can rotate. You can do anything you want. You don't need any add-on. Just with a couple of extra operations, you get your cutter, custom cutter. Let's keep going. Yeah, we check. They seem nice. Now we, we add a UV sphere. We shift the location. We apply shade smooth. Then we add a cylinder again mm, 
let's make yeah let's decide what can we do now we make some segments create some segments from the cylinder we use simple modeling technique for this first we insert the top face then we select the segments the half of the segments the top faces as you see now we are selecting yeah we finish selecting then we extrude the extrude the segments we select faces we don't need bottom faces we can delete them but delete all of them yeah we select again delete faces now we have our segments yes this is better we don't need the bottom face also the center face let's create our cutter I believe that you're gonna like this let's move it down let's rotate now the and we adjust the position first we select the cylinder yeah we scale it down first we adjust the position for more precision it seems like okay but I think we rotate it no we don't we don't need to rotate yeah we select first the segment cylinder I couldn't select yeah this is okay click difference now we have the cutter it turns into the frame looking object after that we just select only the frame which is cutter yes that seems disappears the UV sphere but it's not disappear just drag the cutter towards the sphere yeah it seems nice we keep that shade flat otherwise the edge of the segments seems like ripped yes as you see we have very nice shape here this is cool looking object we cut through through let's keep going with another custom cutter shape we add a cylinder then we change the location of the cylinder yes let's create another cutter the custom shape we add plane you're gonna love this we create a cutter a custom cutter just from a single plane yeah we adjust the position here's the magic now switch to edit mode subdivide subdivide yeah two times subdivide then we select vertices just randomly drag the vert vertices it doesn't matter you can create cracks 
and dance with this technique. As you see, just randomly, it's going to look like burst, you know, burst out. Like cartoon. Just randomly. It's all the matter of uh, showing the technique. Just randomly dragging vertices. You see. Let's keep adjusting. Also, you can apply some geometry nodes with noise texture to create a custom object, custom shape. You see. Just randomly. Yeah, this is kind of okay. Not that too much. Yeah, seems nice. All right. A couple of small adjustments. Yes. Now we select all faces. Then we extrude. Yes. This is our custom object. We set the location. Yes, then rotate it, set the location again, yeah, briefly just adjust into the middle, uh, just select only the frame, yeah, scale it through x-axis, yeah, you see, we have our custom hole like burst seems like burst yeah we adjust the location now we apply brush then we click the frame and that's it we have destructed object now with custom created cutter Let's create another one. We add icosphere and we change the location. We create, let's create a bowl here. Yeah, we duplicate it and we set the position. Yes, let's scale up the first icosphere which we turn into the bowl and we cut the half of the icosphere. Yeah, we select the faces. Yeah. Then we apply solidify modifier. Actually, with this modifier, it's going to look like a bowl. But uh, why we doing this? Why we are doing this? You can use any other shapes, any other objects. Just turn into cutter and cut 
and get your bowl. Now we apply same process. First we select the object, turn to cutter, cutter and and then the object we're gonna cut. Click difference, select the frame. Yeah, as you see, we have our, our ball. The solidify modifier, uh, it's better to apply the modifier before cutting. Otherwise, the object you want to cut uh, stays uh, non destructive. So, cutter may not work. Yeah, as you see, we scale. Yeah, we have our simple ball. With crystal shape details. Yeah, that seems nice, I think. No need any further adjustment. Yes, I think it's it's okay. We apply brush, then we delete frame. Yeah, as you see, after applying, there is no effect on the object as cutter. Now let's carve. A letter on the ball. Let's put X. As you see, we have already a destructive ball. We add text. Uh, we adjust position. We just write a capital X yes yeah, scale it up then we convert to mesh then we switch to edit mode and select all faces and extrude yes we have a capital X as a 3d object let's apply same process first rotate and rotate again and set the position yeah yeah seems okay yeah I think it's okay now scaled up more Let's turn the X into the cutter. We carve X on the bowl. No, no. Quite opposite. Yeah, first select the object. Yes. As you see, we have X on the bowl. We may need to rotate a little bit through y-axis first we set the position make sure we don't make a hole on the ball now we cut the ball through through we don't want that we, we set the position uh, briefly I think we don't need, yeah, we, it's better to rotate through Y axis, it's better now, yeah, we have our X carved on the ball, yes, yeah, seems nice, we can scale it, we can change position, we adjust the position. Yeah, 
yeah we shift the position through z axis yeah it seems okay then apply brush then we delete the frame yes seems nice as you see five different objects and different techniques just we used blenders uh, default tools let's adjust a quick scene the the scene you saw at the beginning as a thumbnail photo we set light and also we're going to create a simple material yes here are the objects we, we cut with the cutters we created fully custom cutters you see the details yes actually all about imagination and all about practice and effort and lots of patience yeah let's create material make it metallic or cool looking object apply same material to other objects yes yeah, seems better now you can create any kind of material as you wish yes you see we have five different objects five different cutters yeah seems nice I appended the blender logo and uh, the studio drop back thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you find content useful thanks for support in advance so see you later